Hi and welcome to this video. My name is Louis from The Fun Accountant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve a common accounting problem of duplicate supplier accounts by merging these suppliers into one account indexed. By doing this, you will avoid unnecessary journal entries, messy books and save time and costs by having a simple traceable set of supplier accounts. Maybe this is the first time that you hear of Dext. So let's define what Dext is all about. Dext is an app that you use to upload documents to, where the information from those uploaded documents get extracted and prepared for automatic processing to your desired accounting software, which entirely removes the need for data capturing. These documents are stored in Dext for easy retrieval and review at a later stage. If you are able to snap a picture with your mobile phone, you are able to do this simple processing in Dext. Dext is not an accounting program, but rather a helpful tool to make accounting easy, quick and precise. You don't need an accounting brain to use Dext. I use Dext in conjunction with Sage Accounting, which is my preferred online accounting software. There are a few methods of uploading your supplier bills to Dext. In one of my previous videos, I showed you how to capture bills on Dext by taking a picture with a mobile phone. You can find the link of that video here or at the end of the video or in the, the description below. Today, I will be showing you another method of uploading supplier bills using an easy drag and drop function. This is a fast and quick way of getting those bulk invoices into extraction and processing. So let's go and do this together. In this example, I have already downloaded about 14 supplier bills to my PC's download folder. I've logged into my Dext account and I'm here in a workspace screen of my demo company. You can see that there are no documents under my costs section of Dext. Click on the green plus add documents button at the top navigation bar and the area will open where you can upload costs and sales documents as well as bank statements for conversion to PDF. I need to select a document owner first. This step identifies the person who is uploading the documents. This is important but I will explain in future videos why. I select myself as the fund accountant and you will see that the area designated for file uploads lighten up, which now enables me to add documents to Dext. From my downloads folder, I select the bills, which are all JPEG documents, and drag and drop them in the green frame section for upload. The orange progress bar is running, showing me the status of the upload. This passes quickly taking only a few seconds to upload my 14 documents in real time. A message displays that you can find the documents in the in processing section under the costs. After you close the upload screen and enter the in processing header, you can see the extraction process in progress. The extraction part can take a few seconds, minutes or sometimes even longer depending on the situation. In my own experience, the extraction normally takes less than an hour. So you can go for a walk, a swim, or pour yourself a mega pint of juice in the meantime. Let's break down the cost section of text to help you understand what is happening within each section. The inbox. All the documents that have been extracted go to your inbox. To review, the documents in your review section still need your attention because they are not categorized, which means the expense has not been classified yet. Ready. All the required fields needed for processing have been completed, including the categorizing of expenses. Archive. Once a document has been processed, your accounting system, it is moved to archive and stored should you want to view it at a later date. 
In processing, we have touched on in processing earlier. Here you can find a measure of documents that are in the process of being extracted. I'm going to categorize a cost document and while I am doing this, a problem will become apparent with the supplier name. See if you can spot it as well. I am in the inbox section of text. In the third row, the first document that needs to be reviewed has an orange to review button. When you hover over it, text tells you that you need to complete at least the category field. You click on the to review button. At the left of the screen is the photo of the slip and on the right are the fields that were extracted. You click in the category field and select the appropriate expense. In this example, I choose motor vehicle expenses. As you scroll down, you can see that all the required fields have been extracted and filled in automatically by Dext. You can collapse the site menu bar to have a better view of the slip. Here you will see that the amount on the slip of 1077.79 agrees with the amount extracted. If we compare the supplier names, we see that Dext has selected the supplier account called Sassel Summer Strand. Although the D has been omitted from the slip, which states Sassel Summer Strand. When you head back to the inbox, the orange to review button will have changed to a green ready button. But let's have a closer look at the supplier name. In the line above the one we have just completed, there is also a Sassel Summer Strand. When I open this document to take a closer look, it is clear that this is the same supplier as the previous document. But now we have a supplier name where the D is excluded from the name and only Sassel Summer Strand instead of Summer Strand. All the other fields check out as correct. How do we fix this problem of duplicate suppliers? If we just go ahead and process it like this, we'll create duplicate suppliers and make unnecessary work for ourselves, leaving a mess of our supplier transactions. In your left sidebar menu and the lists, click on suppliers to open your supplier list. There is a long list of suppliers. The easiest way to find suppliers is to filter by name at the top right filter field. When I type Sassel, the supplier list is condensed, showing a list of suppliers that has the name Sassel in it. In this list, under the items, you can see that three documents have already been processed to Sassel Summer Strand and one document to Sassel Summer Strand with a D. I have decided to combine these two supplier accounts to prevent future confusion. I click on the checkbox next to linkage and name to select the two suppliers. At the top, I click on merge to select it. Before merging, you have to select your default future supplier, which is one of the two selected, and then click on merge. Back at the supplier list, you will see the suppliers have been merged into one under Sassel Summer Strand. Back to the cost inbox and all the unprocessed extracted supplier names have been changed to accept the one supplier we have selected during the merging process. To process these suppliers to Sage Accounting, you click on the Ready button if you would like to quickly review the extracted fields. In the right section of the screen, scroll to the bottom and press on Publish. I will do it with both documents. A message appears that the item has been queued for publishing. As I publish a third document, the message now says that the item successfully published to Sites Accounting. It is important to note that when you merge a supplier index, that same merging does not happen in Sites Accounting. You will still have to deal with the duplicate supplier and the transactions processed to them in Sites Accounting. But don't sweat it. I'm going to show you how to deal with this correctly. 
Just follow me and you will be fine. I am in Sage Accounting now and I have done a search on the supplier list for the two duplicate suppliers. And the two suppliers that we have merged, indexed, appear in Sage. Now I'm going to run my favorite report, it being for suppliers or customers. It is the supplier transaction report. Accountants have a fancy word for this report, which is called the supplier ledger. The supplier ledger shows all the transactions recorded against the supplier for a given time period. Clearly, you can just imagine that this is something very helpful. To access it under the top navigation menu, go to suppliers, reports, move to the right, down, and find the supplier transactions phrase that turns blue when you hover over it. Click on it. In the next screen, we will define the date range and the specific supplier whose information we need. The date range default setting is monthly. You can run a report for nearly any date scenario that you can think of. Because I have only a few transactions in the demo, I'm going to select yearly and I'm going to find the transactions in the last year. Then I'm going to search for the two duplicate suppliers by entering the first few alphabetical characters SA from the drop down list. I'm going to select the first supplier in the from field and the second supplier in the to field. I'm going to run the report for all categories and all transaction types and I click on the blue view report button. This report reveals that I have one supplier invoice in the first supplier and three supplier invoices in the second supplier. These supplier invoices originated from Dext and you can identify them from the long RB reference numbers. All these invoices pertain to one supplier and not two. The fastest way for me to clean this up would be to move the one invoice from the top supplier to the second one. I would also like to do this without changing any other details already captured in the system. The good news is that this is possible. Firstly, I make a note of the supplier invoice number that I would like to reallocate. To reallocate a transaction to a different supplier, you need to be in the section where all the supplier invoices are. To find this, go to the suppliers in the top navigation menu. Move down to transactions, move to the right to supplier invoices and click on it when the phrase turns blue. In the search field, you type in the supplier invoice number 045 and click search. There is one line appearing and you can clearly see from the amount and reference that this is the supplier invoice that I need to change. To edit it, you click on the blue supplier invoice number under the document number column. The processing details of the supplier invoice will appear. In the supplier name, I simply click on the drop-down list, type the name abbreviation to quickly find the supplier and select the correct one. The rest of the entries you should keep the same and at the bottom you press save. To see whether this reallocation had the desired effect, you will extract the supplier account ledger or simply click the transaction report exactly like we did before by moving your cursor to the suppliers at the top navigation menu, down to reports and then to the right to open another menu bar and then move down to the supplier transactions. Again you define the date range as last year. In the transaction field, type the supplier name abbreviation to narrow down your search. Select the first supplier and press enter in the next field. Do the same and select the second supplier. Click on view report. Sage will only display the supplier that had transactions within our search ranges. The transaction on the 17th of December 2021 for 80 Rand 
has been moved to the correct supplier. Mission accomplished with reallocating the transaction and having clear, precise information available for our business. Let's do another example to reinforce what we have just learned. In the cost inbox of text, the bills that need to be allocated are presented here. I'm going to categorize a builder supplier invoice by clicking on to review. When looking at the invoice captured in the left side of the split screen, everything is clear and straightforward. At the right side of the split screen, text has extracted the required fields. A message appears saying that I need to complete the category field. Click on a drop-down list and in my case, this expense is incurred for maintenance. Search for it by name, abbreviation and select the repairs and maintenance account. I'm going to double check the supplier account. Head over to the supplier selection when typing the builder's abbreviation. You can see that there are two builder supplier accounts. In the workspaces left side menu bar, you can find more detail about the processing history of the supplier builds. To access the deck storage space of historic transactions, click on the costs heading, move down to archive and click it. In this section, there can literally be thousands of transactions, but you can find a specific entry within seconds using filters in the advanced search option at the top. I'm going to search by supplier name. Enter the supplier name and click on a green apply button. All the suppliers that contain the name builders are displayed. There I can see the culprit as I have a builders warehouse supplier account among the builders bills. I'm going to open this invoice to determine whether this is a different supplier from the rest by clicking on the image button and now I can view this invoice. I'm going to inspect another invoice from a different supplier account. It is clearly visible that this is the same supplier. There can be many reasons for this duplication, but it is beyond the scope of this video to give explanations for this. From my experience of processing thousands of these, you need to know how to avoid duplicate supplier accounts. If they exist, it is in your interest merging them, which will surely simplify your life in the future. Fortunately, Dext has a merging function to deal with this quickly and easily. Again, we perform the merging of supplier accounts by going to the left sidebar menu and the lists. Click on suppliers to open your supplier list. There is no need to filter this alphabetical list because we can find the two builder supplier accounts. Click on the checkboxes next to the two supplier names. Go to the top of your screen and click on Merge to select it. Select the supplier account that you would like to keep and click on Merge. Voila! There is now only one builder's account and the two transactions and the, the deleted supplier has been moved to our single supplier active account. This video is much longer than expected because we have done two examples of merging duplicate suppliers in Dext. If you've made it till the end, thank you very much for watching.